I will say this is going to be cosine of x, cosine of 3 pi over 4, minus sine of x, sine of 3 pi over 4. Or is it sine of 3 pi or sine of u? Yeah, it's the same, OK? So that's this one. Now, I don't like the minus here, so I'm going to use a bracket because that, that gets confusing. right? This is that one. And then we're subtracting this. But a lot of people will make a mistake. So it's not required, but man, I would definitely recommend putting in a bracket there. So let's do this one, which is cosine of x, um, cosine of 3 pi over 4. Please don't make that a negative 3 pi over 4. Right? It's u minus v. So these are like separate angles. All right, that's a plus um, sine of x, sine of 3 pi over 4. And then end the bracket. So I'm going to rewrite this. I'm going to actually, I'm like, well, yeah, I'm going to rewrite this just so you guys can see the work because you have to distribute that negative, right? So since I have a little bit of extra time, I'll rewrite it. And you guys maybe can just maybe fix your answer if you want to. Because the only thing that changed was that last sign. But I, just want, I wanted to leave this up here so therefore you guys can see how it would go from here to here. Nothing changed except I distributed it. I got rid of the brackets, right? OK, so again, the main thing is if you don't do the brackets, people will not, they'll, mix, they'll mess that up. All right, do we have any common terms or any terms that divide go to 0? Those go to 0. And then these are the same, right? So x plus x is 2x. So negative sine of x sine of square root of 3 over 4. Do we know what sine of 3 pi over 4 is? 3 pi over 4, let's see, sine. So that's going to be in the second quadrant. So that's careful. Positive. Square root of 2 over 2, right? Could the 2's divide out? Well, I mean, really, guys, do we need to even include, like, this is a product, right? Could I just divide out the square root and the negative? Is this really just the same thing as sine of x equals 0? Because you just divide by a negative 1 and a negative square root of, uh, a square root of 2 on both sides. You're just going to get sine of x. It's like this. It's like having 3 times x minus 1 equals 0. Like, what are the solutions here? Well, just divide out the 3. It's still x minus 1 equals 0, right? The 3 is just an extra. It's a scalar. So when is sine of x equal to 0? What angles? 0, and then pi, and then 2 pi, and then 3 pi, and then 4 pi, and 5 pi. So we can write that as a all solutions as x equals 0 plus pi n, or just x equals pi n. And that will satisfy all of our angles. Cool? OK. Oh, that's a good problem. I like that problem.